A spring attached to the ceiling is pulled 7 cm down from the equilibrium and then released. The damping factor of the spring is 0.2, resulting in the spring oscillating 16 times per second. Write a function to model the distance d, the end of the spring is, from the equilibrium in terms of seconds t since the spring was released. Because the spring has a damping factor, we know we have damped harmonic motion, where as time increases, the amplitude decreases. We can use either of these two functions, f of t, to model the damped harmonic motion, where c is the damping factor, the absolute value of a equals the initial displacement, which indicates we'll have to determine the sine of a by the given information, and two pi divided by omega equals the period, and therefore omega divided by two pi equals the frequency. Recall the period and frequency are reciprocals of one another. Going back to the given information, because the spring is pulled seven centimeters down from the equilibrium, we know the absolute value of a must equal seven, and because it's being pulled down, the displacement is negative, and we know a equals negative seven. We should also recognize this indicates the function will resemble the cosine function rather than the sine function. And that's because the initial value here is not the midline, it's actually going to be a minimum of the function. The damping factor of the spring is 0.2, which indicates C equals 0.2. And the spring oscillates 16 cycles per second, which is the frequency. Which also indicates the period equals the reciprocal of 1 16th. And now we still need to find omega. Let's use the formula omega divided by 2 pi equals the frequency, which gives us omega divided by 2 pi equals 16. To solve for omega, we multiply both sides by 2 pi. Simplifying, we have omega equals 32 pi. Before we write the function, let's make a rough graph of the function over two periods, or 2 sixteenths, which equals 1 eighth. So let's mark off one-eighth on the horizontal axis. This is time in seconds. And because the spring is pulled down seven centimeters, we'll mark negative seven and positive seven on the vertical axis, which is the displacement. Going back to the horizontal axis, let's mark off one-sixteenth, which is in the middle, which is the period. And now we'll break the periods into four equal subintervals. Because the spring is pulled down seven centimeters to begin, at time zero, we have the point zero comma negative seven, which would be this point. And I will follow the basic pattern for the cosine function of the interval from zero to one sixteenth of a second when the basic cosine function is reflected across the midline. So we have a minimum midline and then a max, but because we have damped harmonic motion, the max will not be all the way up to positive seven, it'll be a little bit below. And then continuing, you have midline down to the minimum, but this minimum will be more than negative seven, let's just say approximately here. And now we follow the same pattern again, minimum, midline, max, but again, this max is less than the previous max, we'll say approximately here, midline, and then min, but this last min is going to be more than the previous minimum, let's just say roughly here. And now we'll go ahead and sketch the graph. Now looking at the graph, we can see why we're going to be using the cosine function rather than the sine function. This resembles the graph of the basic cosine function when reflected across the midline, which is another reason why we're using a equals negative seven. Our function for the harmonic motion is d, or d of t if we want, equals a, which is negative seven, times e to the power of negative ct, which is negative 0.2t times cosine of omega t, which gives us cosine of 32 pi t. Before we go, let's look at this graph in Desmos. Here's the graph of the function using Desmos. Notice the graph also includes two dashed red curves the red curve above is y equals seven e to the power of negative 0.2t. Notice all the relative maximums are points on this curve, and below we have y 
equals negative seven e to the power of negative zero point two t. Notice all of the relative minimums appear as points on this curve. I hope you found this helpful.